गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट ड्रीम कैचर द फर्स्ट लेशन ऑफ ड्रीम कैचर इज द बी एफ जी वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ बी एफ जी बिग फ्रेंडली जॉइंट सो हु इज द राइटर दिस स्टोरी इज रिटन बाई रोल द हल अ ब्रिटिश नॉवलिस्ट अ शॉर्ट स्टोरी राइटर अ स्क्रीन प्ले राइटर एंड अ poet he wrote many poems for the children few uh, story are the james and the green pitch charlie and the chocolate the bfg etc so now let's talk about the character the main character of bfg is a giant and a girl whose name is shofi so what is a giant a giant is an imaginary and unusually enormous human like being now let's start the story the story begin with a girl whose name is shofi shofi couldn't sleep why she couldn't sleep because a brilliant moonbeam was slanting through a gap in the curtains and it was shining right on to her pillow now what is the meaning of moonbeam meaning of moonbeam was ray of moonlight now what happened next the other children in the dormitory had been asleep for hours sophie tried very hard to doze off now here my question what is the meaning of dormitory and what is the meaning of doze off now have a look the meaning of dormitory is a large bedroom and the meaning of doze off is fall asleep as we know sophie couldn't sleep so the house was absolutely silent and sophie thought she told to herself perhaps it was a bitching hour now what is the meaning of bitching hour children the bitching hour was a special moment in the middle of the night when every child and every grown up was in deep sleep now so if he decided to get out of bed and close the gap of curtain so now she got she know she got punished if she was caught out of the bed but as there was no one about now sophie reached out her glasses which was lay on the chair beside her bed she put them on slipped out of bed and tiptoed over to the window now she longed to duck underneath them see lean out of the window to see what the world looked like now now what she saw she saw in the silvery moonlight the village street which she knew so well was seemed completely different the houses looked bent and crooked like houses in a fairy tale everything was pale and ghost and milky white suddenly shofi froze why she froze she froze in fear and what she saw she saw something was coming up to the street on the opposite side and what was it it was something black tall and very thin it was a giant now the giant sees sophie the giant picks her up through the window and when and incredible and run incredibly fast and vanishes 
and the darkness so this is the story children i hope story is clear now it's time for your homework what is your homework you have to note down all these underlined words in your notebook and you have to learn all these underlined hard words we will discuss in the next class the question answer and reference to the contest revise your lesson till then bye bye thank you